How's it going, guys? Huh. Well, that just came undone. But I have this all hooked up now. And I just tested it for the first time. Try and get this ground wire hooked back on. Hopefully. There, okay. Alright, so I had this all hooked up for the first time. And um, we've got a... Uh, Pen meter. It's sensitive a bit, I guess. It's not really. It shouldn't be going off. There's not much going on there. Some electrical wires over that way. Um, but I have it hooked up with the spark gap and the two diodes. These are the 30 kV. Uh, 50 milliamp or 30 milliamp. I've got a pack of them here. Uh, here's the number. 2CL, 2FP. I bought a bunch of those to play with a while ago. Never really got to it until now. But uh, short and long of it is it pulls 9 watts. And it's operating in disruptive discharge with no capacitor. So we are running on... Uh, 9.1 watts at 7.6 volts. The board's operating, as you can see. Coil's running. Spark gap is lit. You can see that. It takes 2,000 volts to jump that. Uh, the diodes are uh, the output. The two are ganged together, as Don says, and into the primary. Meter. You can see the high voltage. I haven't played for the nodes yet, but uh, you can see this is all high voltage here. And I haven't got to the neons. I do have a bag of them here, so I don't know if they'll light or not. Probably not. May have to play with it some more yet, but maybe they will. I'm not really holding them either, but... Certainly not that high a voltage, because this bag should be lighting up. And it's not. But this does work well at uh, about 8.9 watts. There you can see it's just on constantly, right on those high voltage wires. This is just the center tap of the ground here. So, high voltage everywhere. We'll have to play with it. Ciao.